It's difficult to see right now, but here under the blue covers being unloaded in the Danish port of Aarhus is a piece of what might well be the future of the wind energy industry. What is now becoming reality started as a more remote dream in 2010, when Chinese CEO of Envision Lei Chang set up a meeting with the Danish wind turbine veteran Anna Srebstorf. The cooperation between the experienced Danish engineer and the Chinese entrepreneur was the beginning of a fruitful combination of Danish know-how and Chinese agility. Well, from the very start the idea was to, to let a team of senior engineers do a dream, do, uh, do something they really felt for. And we gathered the team and this team was having the freedom to design a new offshore turbine. This new product could not be done if we hadn't the support from the top management and the strong desire to show it's possible. It's a key thing in, in, in Envision to, to go and do it. With the right amount of know-how, willpower and a solid foundation, the new European design team started to make a design which the rest of the industry had not yet dared to make. A two-bladed wind turbine that will lower the cost of both production and transport. The beautiful thing about the two blades is that, that of course you only have the two blades uh, and one, one less than, than uh, the other turbines. And of course uh, that makes a cheaper turbine, it makes it easier to transport. As they start to test the design, the team realizes the potential of the new features. And the two blades are only part of the new innovative design. For me, uh, the most innovative part and where we gain most uh, competitive uh, advantage, that's the uh, partial pits enable us to, uh, to reduce the extreme loads by, we think now, 30%, which is uh, very much. It's, uh, I haven't seen anything like that in, in the industry for many, many years. When the new turbine starts to take its form in a big assembly hall in the Danish town of Frederikshavn, expectations start to build. But at the end of the day, it all comes down to one thing. The turbine opens up for less material in the foundation, it opens up for less material in the tower. And that saves cost, creates value for the customers, and the turbine itself is maybe a bit cheaper as well. Uh, because it's lighter and consumes less material. But it is the indirect cost that is the value for the customer. Uh, yeah, this is the front bearing. Front bearing. Yeah, this is the taper bearing. Yeah. So less loads coming from the wind to the tower, to the foundation, meaning less material and meaning less cost. And even though the components here in the assembly hall still have to show their worth as the world's first two-bladed wind turbine with a partial pitch design, the Danish director is confident that the final product will live up to the expectations and create value to the customer and the world. We have to show the world it works, we have to tell them the numbers and uh, I'm very sure we will have a breakthrough in some years. We are succeeding, absolutely. The new prototype will be erected on the site in Tuburan in the summer of 2012. By then the team will have been working on the new 150 meter tall two-bladed wind turbine for a little more than two years. In Denmark uh, it's possible to do things like we are doing here because we have huge experience, many smaller companies are present, a lot of know-how is present, there is a culture to, to talk to each other, meet, discuss, challenge, uh, develop and, uh, and do it in reality. But even though the Danish know-how has been a fundamental value in the making of the new prototype, Anna Srebstorf is confident that Envision's Chinese roots have played a crucial part as well. I think this, uh, this setup with an innovation centre in Europe very much depends on the agility and the push and the drive in China at present to, to deliver suitable solutions for the world. Okay, I have uh, not just for China, but for the world. And while the last bolts are being tightened, Anna Srebstov looks back at the process with pride. Soon we will see the turbine up running uh, and, and that will be a dream to see it in reality.